guys, so today I'm doing the long-awaited free trade portfolio update. I've had a few people asking me when I'm doing my next one, so I try to do these only once a month. I just don't see the value in doing them any more frequently. The market fluctuates all the time and I think showing how the portfolio is going every month with the changes that I make sort of on a monthly basis to the portfolio is far more insightful than sort of weekly portfolio updates but of course happy to be corrected i also want to try a bit of a different format to this one so if you've been following me for a while you'll see that the format's changed to this portfolio update video and i would be really interested to know which one you prefer so do let me know in the comments below which format you prefer and then i'll make sure for the next one whichever wins and um, that's how i'll do it i just thought i'd try something different so without further ado let's jump straight in So my portfolio has gone up by £260 since the last portfolio update. So if we just go through each of my positions and then I'll tell you how things have changed. So first holding, highest holding is my FTSE All World Dividend ETF. So in my last update, I had three shares in this and I've currently got six shares in it. So I basically, you can see here, purchased three shares on the 30th of June. So as I mentioned before, my plan is to have about 50 or more percent of my holdings in ETFs. I still like the idea of dividends though. So although the majority of my individual stocks are dividend stocks, I didn't really want to completely step away from that in my ETFs. Next is the S&P Dividend Aristocrat. So with that one, nothing's changed in terms of holdings. I had five shares and I have five shares, but the value has dropped by about three pounds. Next, we've got the S&P 500. Again, nothing's changed on this one. I had three shares and I still have three shares, but the value has gone up by three pounds. So that's kind of offset the previous ETF, which is quite nice. My next biggest holding is AT&T. I've increased this one uh, a little bit. So as you can see here, I've made two purchases of AT&T since my last update. I got 0.5 of a share on the 16th of July and 1.7 of a share on the 22nd of July. So my holding has gone from 3.1 shares to 5.86 shares. Next is the S&P UK dividend. No update on this one, I had 12 shares, still have 12 shares and the value has pretty much stayed consistent. Next largest one is GSK. So I had four shares in the last update and now I have seven shares. So you can see here I got two shares on the 30th of June and an extra one share on the 16th of July. It does look currently like my investment is down by about £5.50, but that's fine. I'm quite confident with GSK personally. Next is the FTSE 100. I've purchased one share in this since my last update and currently up 1%, so not too bad. Next one is Abvi. I've made no changes to Abvi. My position remains at 1.05 of a share. And currently the position is up by about 11 pounds, which is great. Next is Amex. So I have increased my position in Amex. You can see here, I've made a few different transactions, just adding to my position in Amex. This is why I love fractional shares. It just means that I can consistently put in more money into a company whenever I've got some spare cash. So a few of these would have been fueled completely by the free shares. I sell the free shares that I get, and then I add to this position. Again, down a little bit on this position, but not too worried. Next is Compass Group. So I've actually sold a share of Compass. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that I did. So I've gone from four shares to three shares here and currently down about £2.89. The reason I sold this is we still don't really know what's going to happen with the event sector and everything like that. Although things seem to be reopening, large gatherings are still not really happening in the UK. So I just thought that I'll just reduce my position on this slightly. So I did take a little bit of a hit when I sold this, but that's fine. I've put it into one of the other stocks that I'm mentioning that have increased uh, in position since, and clearly those are ones that I'm more confident in. Next is Greg's, no change there, still two shares, although almost an 11 pounds downwards position on here. It's a tough one with Greg's because part of me really wants to just invest more money whilst it's cheap, but part of me just doesn't know how it will cope with everything that's gonna happen. And you know, the likelihood is that we're probably gonna to move to a more working from home environment and then there'll be less people in the office and therefore less football. 
in the places that they have a lot of their branches so still not sure how I'm gonna go with this one but for now just keep it on keeping it on here national grid next again no change in this position still three shares and up by eight pence Okay, so the next few I'm just gonna lump all in one because there's been no change to these at all. So we've got Emerging Market, Sentiment, Secure Income, and Robo Global. So all of these, I've maintained my position, I've just held on to them. All of them have gone up and down slightly, but the only one that's gone up quite significantly is Sentiment. It's gone from a value of about 1570 to 1996, which is quite good. Next is Taylor Wimpy, I have added one extra share in Taylor Wimpy. If you watched my last updates, you will know that with this one, it's just one where if I've got a bit of cash left over from buying the shares that I want, I just sort of lump it into Taylor Wimpy. So you can see here, I got one share on the 1st of July, but currently 33p down on the position. And finally, BP, two shares. Again, no change in the position and a slight drop in value. So in terms of dividends since the last update, I don't think I really went through them because I tend to go through them in my passive income. Once again, thank you so much for supporting the channel and for watching the videos. I really appreciate every single view. So thank you so much. And for those of you who take the time to comment, I try to get back to every comment, but sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. But I do actually try my best to reply to everyone. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of emails and messages on social media so I do think that fairly shortly I will be offering sort of one-to-one -one sessions on a semi-regular basis but yeah keep your eyes peeled if I do do that I will definitely announce it on like my social media and stuff so if you're not following me there make sure you do thanks so much for watching see you in the next video bye